Good evening, ladies, as well as gentlemen, Papa Boris, so you're playing some more Dream Quests. I think I'm going to start back around to the beginning of the roster. Um, I'm not going to play as the Samurai, because I have actually already cleared the dungeon with the Samurai, uh, and I'm not really concerned with trying to kill the Lord of Dreams yet, that uber boss at the end. I actually would just be pretty happy if I could uh, clear the dungeon with all the characters. That would be, like, phenomenal. So we're going to go back to the beginning and choose Warrior. I've only really done Warrior in the starting guide video. It was a pretty good run, but let's try to have a better one. So, first talent... Uh, just for a little bit of variety's sake, let's go ahead and grab training, and let's, multi let's upgrade one of our attacks. The warrior's deck is very straightforward, just a bunch of attack cards and a sword. Interesting layout here, so I'm forced to waste a health pack. Let's go up this way, because this way, um, I, you know, am more likely to have more to explore than going towards the corner. Alright, there's a level 2. Man, I'm fine with fighting a level 2, that's good. Um, it'll take a bit, because the first card I play each turn is cancelled. I'm actually going to cancel the sword, because the sword only works if you play two attack cards in a turn, and I can't play two attack cards in a turn, because the first one I play each turn is canceled, and my hand size is still only just the two. So, yeah, pretty good to have this one early on. It's a pretty of an annoying one. It's done a bunch of damage to me, but now it's dead and I level up. So that's good. Oh, what am I doing? I'm an idiot! I'm a warrior! I can smash through walls! I should have totally smashed a wall instead of wasting a health pack. Whoops. Uh, nice pickup, though. Let's definitely delete one of these attack ones. Well, okay, so there is a strategy with warrior that lets you keep all of your attack cards. Basically, there's that one thing that we've seen some enemies have. It's, um, it's, a, it's a weapon, flying scimitars or something, that makes it so that whenever you play an attack card, you get a copy of the attack card you just played. And it's only, it's only the basic attacks. So let's say you have a bunch of attack 4s, each one becomes 8 damage, and if you have any kind of effects that make the enemy take more damage from cards that you play, or if you have things like swords that deal extra damage for cards that you play, then you can actually potentially have a strategy built around just using your attack cards. Um, so I could, it's, it's a reasonable choice, I shouldn't dismiss the upgrade completely, um, because, you know, changing the... 2 to a 3 and a 3 to a 4 does increase my damage here, and it works well with that strategy later, but I don't want to constrain myself to that. That strategy can still work, um, but if I don't get that particular set of circumstances that enables me to use that strategy, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be happy not to have an attack 1 floating around my deck. Okay, Goblin Hoarder level 2, a little bit risky because it could run away, so why don't we now smash and explore beyond it. Oh, pretty good use of smash there. Okay... Lots of open space now, and even a treasure chest, bandage, uh, I just don't know about these bandages, no, I'm not gonna do it. Three health just does not seem nearly enough for a time and a card. Okay, this is a pretty good shop though, so the health is good, don't know if I want to buy it yet, but if I have ten gold lying around later I'll de definitely get it, this is nice, obviously six damage is good, and Colossus Smash is a bit of a weird card, so you can only play this if you have no action cards and it deals eight damage. You lose all your time. Currently, I have no action cards. So yeah, let's go for the Colossus Smash. You could go for that as a strategy and just have lots of attack cards and never use action cards. All right, there's the War Queen boss. This is what level? Level 2? Level 2. So I'm fighting level 2s no matter what. These are some pretty easy battles here. We're just applying all the attack cards. And there she blows. 19 health should be enough to kill another level 2, but let's explore. No reason to get hasty. Oh, level 3 spider. That's even better. And a level 1 pixie. Okay, let's go to the shop. Hmm, okay. Another Colossus Smash. If I'm going for this strategy, then I'm going for it. So I'm going to save up for that. And I'm going to actually fight this spider here to level me up. Let's take out a level 3. Let's use the blacksmith. So the thing about the blacksmith is that, like, okay, with the blacksmith I could, for example, get this frost slash and upgrade it. Um, which is definitely a decent choice, and it's better to upgrade that than to upgrade an attack, because upgrading an attack card increases its damage by 1, whereas upgrading the elemental slash card upgrades their damage by 2. But maybe I just don't use that blacksmith shop at all yet. I think I can kill a level 3 spider with just ma myself. Especially because I do have a Colossus Smash in here now. And I'm leveling up after this, so I don't care if I uh, take a bunch of damage. As long as I don't die. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do these webs do? It's just discard a card, loses a time. Doesn't matter. I'm not using time. As long as the spider doesn't heal itself, I guess I'm fine with it. There's the Colossus Smash. Pop. Goes the spider. And okay. 
So, very difficult choice here. Stone Skin is obviously a great survivability card. It is a non-bow with my Colossus Smash, because you cannot play it after you've played action cards, and if you play it before you play action cards, you lose all your time. But it is a very, very good defensive card. Corrosive Slash is just a good offensive card. So, what am I doing exactly for sustainability here? I mean, maybe equipment? Yeah, I'll try it. We'll try it, because there's another Colossus Smash here, so let's go for full offense. And in fact, now I can actually use this Blacksmith to great effect and get the Slash 2 to become a Slash 3, so I got a little bit of elemental damage in there. Okay, let's go to this shop, get the other Colossus Smash, bop. So I've got two of those now, got some sick damage in here. And we have our Double Strike ability, draw a temporary copy of the next card you play, so that can be very strong. Well, I don't think there's much left to do here, right? This is one... Three, five, I'd actually be one experience short of leveling up if I killed all these monsters, but there's an oasis, so even if I'm damaged, it's, it's fine. Basically, in general, if all the monsters that aren't the boss who are left do not let you level up, you shouldn't fight them. It's better to just fight the boss, because if you're not leveling up, then what's the point of just killing a bunch of monsters? But in this case, I can heal, so I can fight the boss at full health regardless. Still, though, let's go ahead and smash this wall, see if there's something back here. Ah, health pack. Ah, I'll waste it. I have an oasis. I don't need it. Aha, there is another monster. Perfect. So we'll, level three, we'll save that for the end, so that um, I can level up when I fight it. And then in the meantime, I'm actually going to start by fighting this hoarder. I'm going to use my ability on him. To get an extra copy of a card. The reason I want to do that is I want to kill this guy quickly before he can run away. Um, I don't, I'm not going to use it yet, though. I want to copy something better. Okay, so I'm going to play this. And in case he, like, cowers away from the smash, I could have played another smash. I really didn't need that, did I? I could have just killed it. Well, it doesn't make any difference because I'm just going to kill this level 1 pixie with a single card. <laughs> get my cooldown back. Um, and then, in fact, let me just smash this wall here, see if there's anything in the corner. There is! There's a shop in the corner! Ooh, some good stuff here. Troll Blood Charm. Oh my god, this is what I need! This is amazing! Yes! Oh god, that's so good. I, I mean, I shouldn't have maybe bought it yet, but that is exactly what I needed. Because with that, I solve my sustainability problem. I'm allowed to keep using Colossus Smashes without getting any more action cards. Okay, so let's fight this level 3 pixie. I'm going to use my ability against this pixie if need be, although it looks like I don't even need it. Level 3 pixie only has 7 hit points. I'm going to use it, it's fine. So, it's kind of weird, but I needed that one little bit of damage to kill it right now, and then now I'm just going to fight another thing. Hamstring is an action card, I'm not playing with them, so we'll take 6 health, pretty happy to have that. I'm going to fight this level 2 wyvern, just to get my cooldown back. You can see these attack 1s really clogging things up, I definitely have cards I'm more interested in playing than the attack ones, but they keep showing up. So I'm glad I chose that cleanse option. Storm Slash, yep, let's learn that. And okay, so I need a little bit of health. Bip. And I have five gold. I could use the blacksmith. But I think I can kill the war queen without it. So I'm gonna just fight her and save that five gold just in case I need it. Okay, so how does this work exactly? Does this like I had, do I have to have it equipped? Is that the idea? Um, I don't need that, so I'm just going to pop it right now, because I don't need it after this fight. I'm healing up after this fight, because I'm leveling up, so I'm just going to play it to have it get discarded. Then, I'm going to copy a card. I'm either going to copy the Colossus Smash for 8 more damage, or the Sword for an extra damage every time I play 2 cards. Well, am I going to play 2 cards 8 times? No. So it makes more sense just to copy the Colossus Smash. And I should have put the sword out first. The way I should have done it is I should have put out the sword first, then clicked on this ability, then played two Colossus Smashes, and I would have dealt an extra damage. But it's fine, because she's just about to die here, and I'm not going to take 21 damage, I don't think. Nope. Bip. And we're good. So, I've never had that troll charm before. I'm missing 21 health, so I'm going to heal 11. Well, I can't tell, can I? Because I leveled up. All right, this is great. An equipment slot, beautiful. All right, so now we can start with the sword equipped. And the troll charm does not need to be equipped at the beginning. The troll charm I can equip during the fight, as long as I equip it at some point um, before the fight ends. Granted, if I kill a monster before I go all the way through my deck, I'm going to wish I had this troll blood charm. You know what? Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Let's get that sustainability in there. That's fine. 
and I'm going to take a quick peek at the shop, see if anything I want. Eh, Berserker Strike. I don't want to damage myself if I don't need to. Execute is tempting, but it's an action card. And then there's Storm Slash, which is quite good. Well, Execute is interesting because even though I cannot play it after I play Colossus Smashes, it doesn't necessarily interfere with Colossus Smash, or at least I should say, it doesn't interfere with Colossus Smash the way that most action cards do, because when you play Execute, you win the fight. So, eh, I mean, it's essentially 12 damage, Colossus Smash is 8, I don't think I need it. So, I could spend some gold at the Blacksmith Shop, upgrade some things. Um, I could buy a Storm Slash for my gold. You know, going down to the next floor, it really wouldn't be the worst thing to have a little bit more damage. So I think I am going to spend that 30 gold on the Storm Slash, which means I'm not getting the health. And then I am going to choose for my talent here the uh, equipped slot so that I can get an extra. I can, I can equip the sword and the troll blood charm, and if I get another piece of good equipment, I can pop one of these off. All right, well, let's explore a little bit. Brownie is a tough one because it dodges half of my action cards, so that's a very tough enemy for me. Lots of enemies are tough, though, when you're going with an action card strategy. There's a bunch of physical resistance, physical immune, physical dodge. It's just it's just tough. Okay, level 4, level 6, level 6, level 5, and level 4. Okay, so how do we do this? Let me, let me try fighting the Brownie first. And I'm going to use... Oh, I, I, oh, I should have fought the second. Because I want to use this against the brownie, but it's on cooldown. I should have fought the easier thing first, actually. Luckily, this is only level 4, so it only has 15 hit points. I'm optimistic that enough of my cards can win the coin flip. Wow, that was 3 that just won the coin flip. That um, I can get it through. Yeah, see, it dodges 50% of attack cards. Attack being not just the one's named attack, but any red card. Yeah. Okay, that time I lost all my coin flips. Great. Coin flip? Coin f I just lost five coin flips. Six coin flips in a row. Okay, okay. There we go. Got one through. Healed up a bit thanks to my troll charm. And I'm 10 experience away. Let's go ahead and fight something hard so I can use my warrior power. Let's do this troll. Okay, none of those cards are worth copying. There is a strategy, by the way, which is that I can start with my sword deliberately not equipped. That way I can copy it and have two copies of the sword. I just don't think the sword is, at the moment, good enough to justify having two copies of it. Okay, I'm waiting for my Colossus Smashes to copy, but I guess both of them were at the bottom of my deck. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. So he played Resilience. Damage dealt in excess of 3 is reduced to 3, and right before I got my best hand. Um, well, let's see, what would, the, what would this have been? This would have been 16, 24, 30... Yeah, I would have killed it. I would have killed him. But instead, I am going to die. Great. Well, just in case something weird happens, I'm going to hang on to one Colossus Smash so I can copy it next turn. But I'm dead. Well, that was good. Glad that happened. How was that? 13 minutes? Let's do another one with the Warrior. Boop. No achievements. Just a sad sack run. Yeah, that was, that was very unlucky. That resilience came at the worst possible time. Uh, I am going to grab health this time. Colossus Smash? Alright, well, we're doing it again, kids! It's gonna work this time. Oh my god, it's the exact same thing as before. Alright, level 1s don't want to fight them, so we'll smash a wall, keep exploring maybe. Level 2, level 3, okay. Shock? Why the hell would you play with Shock as a warrior? This is, I think, a bit of a trap card. Um, deal 3 damage to your opponent at the beginning of your turn. I mean, it seems really good, but later in the game, 3 damage around is just, especially physical damage, which so many things resist, is just not that impressive. Now, granted, 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 you could copy this, and then 6 damage per turn maybe is worth it. But, we'll see. I'm not gonna buy that just yet. Um, I'm gonna fight this bat. I think, especially because I have a Colossus Smash, I can actually kill a level 3 bat. It should not kill. It should not be able to deal 24 damage to me before I muster up 10 to it. There's a level up. Okay, I'm gonna go for slash. Some free damage. Combos all with my sword. Corrosive slash. Absolutely. All right, we got a shield. 20% chance. Experience is decent, and choke is interesting, but very situational. I don't like a lot of these situational action cards because they're always taking up space in your deck, but they're not always doing anything good for you. 
Here we have some nice elemental damages. Uh, all right, we'll buy one of them later. There's the boss. All right, I'm gonna kill this skeleton because he's level two, so it doesn't feel as bad as killing a level one, and he also opens up some more explorations. Skeletons are annoying with all this damage stuff. Damage resistance stuff, I mean. There's the Colossus Smash. That'll smash through your bones. Nice. Got an Oasis and a Monastery is a nice little pickup here. Forget an attack card. I might even be tempted to spend 10 gold to do that again. A couple of level 3 zombies. I should be able to kill these before their bite kills me. So I have four turns to, to finish off the rest of it. And I'm pretty confident in the damage of my deck just because it does have those Colossus Smashes in it. Didn't go all the way through the deck this time, but I had one more turn left. That was actually a little bit, a little bit close. Stone skin is in action. I'm not going to do it. Let's cleanse. Get rid of this. Another attack one. And I can, can I smash again? I can. So let's actually explore this area. Aha, there is something back there. It's an empty hallway. Alrighty. Let's fight this zombie. So now I'm I'm much I'm in much better shape to kill this thing now because I can copy my Colossus Smash, which I don't even need to anymore because one Colossus Smash will kill it. In fact, I'm just gonna do this and get an extra corrosive slash so that I can I can guarantee to kill him next time, even if the Colossus Smash is at the bottom of my deck. Okay, got some experience. Now we need to kill these level ones to level up. Yep, I actually did not manage to kill this at the beginning of my, or my, in one turn, didn't even kill it in two turns. The Yikes, that was embarrassing. Alright, and then this will level me up. Alas, not in one turn. Oh my god, oh my god, come on, thank you very much. Aha, uh -huh. well, let's take another slash. I still don't want any actions. And I'm going to smash this wall down here just in case there's something behind this vampire lord. There isn't. Okay. So I wasn't that thrilled by any of the cards I saw in the stores, which means I am going to actually pop 10 gold in this monastery and forget another attack one. Let's get my uh, Colossus Smashes coming up. I will peek at the shop so I can get Frost Slash. That's fine. Dancing Scimitar, maybe. And maybe a shield. Hmm, it's tempting. It is tempting to get that shield, because that is some survivability, and currently I have none of it, because here, I mean, I have the troll blood charm, but that's it. So, okay, let's get the shield. 20% chance, that'll come up often enough, and then maybe I will buy the dancing scimitar, after telling you that I think it's overrated, because, you know, that's my, that's my MO here. Um, definitely going to use this, and we're going to copy the Colossus Smash for an extra 8 damage. He's immune to Earth, so the uh, Corrosive Slash did nothing, and I threw away 1 damage for no reason whatsoever by not playing the sword first. He managed to uh, get rid of my Troll Blood Charm, which is fine, because um, after this I will be fully healed anyways. So all in all, this ended up being one of the easier bosses I could have had. A little bit annoyed he stole my Slash card. As long as he doesn't steal my Colossus Smash, I'm good though. Yep, he's dead. Okay, so there's the full heal. And an equipment slot or Holy Strike. Oh, that's a tough one, because Holy Strike is some healing, and I have none. But it would be nice to have an equipment slot. All right, we're going to do it. I'm going to get the equipment slot, and I am going to get this uh, Dancing Scimitar. And what I'm going to try to do is be fancy. I'm going to try to remember before certain battles to unequip it so that I can copy it. In fact, uh, let's get this health. Some health is good. And I should be able to buy the experience from the other shop as well. Yeah, let's get that. Of course, I could have bought some of those slash cards and done more damage, but I feel like I've got a decent amount of damage. Now, let me think about what I want to do here. So I could copy the Dancing Scimitar and have two of them in my deck, which is an interesting idea. Or I could get another equipment slot. Let's just get another equipment slot. I've already got four pieces of equipment. So I definitely want the shield, and if I'm not using my hero power, I want the scimitar at the beginning as well to maximize how much, um, how often I can scimitar. Well, I don't have my smash, so I have to fight this level 4 warrior or the 4 goblin mechanist. Well, the goblin mechanist copies equipment that you play, so I actually would like to have my ability on tap to kill him with. 
Okay, this guy also has a shield and is really good at hitting those 20% chances. All right. Right now, the monsters are still low enough that this three damage is very, very impressive. Got a thief at level five. Okay, let's smash here. Keep exploring. Oh. And, oh, okay. Well, wait, that's right. Oh, nope, nope. Yeah. Mm -hmm, okay. So we got Troll Hide, which is interesting. And the more that you cycle through your deck, the more that you can play this. It may be worth getting that just to have some kind of healing, even though it's a non-bow with my Colossus Smash. Unlike in the other game I had that was sadly prematurely aborted, um, I actually only have one Colossus Smash rather than two. Oh, I guess this guy really wasn't as hard as I thought, although he did counter my card draw card, which is annoying. Da, 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 da. He actually got more dodging. The, Jesus, a whole bunch of crap. Okay, yeah, whatever. Ah, I didn't get my troll pendant in time, so I didn't actually heal after that fight. Well, I shouldn't have probably... I shouldn't have taken that health pack, because this thief, this thief is going to level me up. Yep, he is going to be dead pretty soon. And I got my troll blood charm here. Okay, so let's equip it. Um, I don't need to copy anything, but I got to equip the Troll Blood Charm, which doesn't make any difference because I'm healed. All right, don't want more actions, so let's upgrade some cards. The Corrosive Slash is good to upgrade. A little bit annoying that I have to upgrade an attack, but it's fine. And then now I can actually smash to save that health pack, maybe. Ooh, nice. So the Corrosive Slash grew up to a big boy real soon. There's a level four Troll, shouldn't be too hard. Another shop that I'll peek at in just a moment. I'm still thinking about buying that troll hide. Okay, level four clone. All right, so let's take a look, look at this shop. Huh, Pierce is really good. I'm definitely gonna save up for this. This is just amazing. 10 piercing damage is rock solid. Okay, so that's what's happening. And I gotta fight something next. So this is a tough one, because it's gonna take half damage from all my attacks and my sword does nothing. This guy, though, is, is resistant to elemental damage, which I don't have that much of. I only really have the Corrosive Slash, and that's it. I'm actually going to, instead of equipping the shield, equip the Troll Blood Charm, because I really want to make sure that I do heal after the fight, in case I end before I go all the way through my deck. Well, like a pro player, I get my new <laughs> Corrosive Slash. Ah, yes, yeah, so we have a new ability, draw three cards, cooldown three. It's the cooldown threes is a really big difference between a cooldown three and a cooldown two. So you want to save that for the good stuff. All right, he's dead next turn. Maybe I should have copied a card to kill him a turn sooner, but luckily I didn't take that much damage. So I only took 10 and I'll heal for five thanks to my troll blood charm. Okay, now I gotta fight someone else. I still have all my cooldowns up, so I could fight something difficult. Actually, let's actually let's fight this Wraith, and I'm gonna use both my cooldowns against this Wraith. So first, let's draw three cards. Okay, we're gonna copy the Corrosive sh uh, Slash, because that's full damage, because it's not physical. And then, oh man, I'm gonna power through it here. Ugh, not quite. Sword, by the way, does nothing, because it only deals one damage at a time, and it's rounded down, but this attack two, Oh, never mind, my, my Dancing Scimitar deals 3 damage, rounded down after having it as 1, and that was it. Well, maybe I didn't need to use both cooldowns there, did I? Okay, good to know. Let's get over here. Ugh, health pack, okay. What have I have equipped? I'm fine with this, I guess. Let's do the Fire Elemental next, that opens up some more exploration. Okay. All right, that was sort of significant. Fortunately, I didn't get lucky, so I'm not going to kill him this turn. I'll have to kill him next turn with my Colossus Smash, and I took a fair bit of damage. Luckily, I'm healing half of it. Man, that, that Blood Charm makes a big honking difference. All right, I need nine more experience. I think I can kill this thief. Yeah, I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think I can kill it. So yeah, I should be able to kill it next turn, unless I'm very unlucky, which I am. Oh my god, oh my god. Um, <coughs> excuse me. What I'm actually going to do here 
Let's take a very defensive stance. I'm gonna copy this shield so I can equip two of them and go up to 36. Apparently it's not additive completely. Um, so I can dodge some of his attack cards and then kill him on the next turn. Okay, I dodged one. Didn't really make a difference of any kind. So I kind of wasted the cooldown, but I felt like I needed to be a little bit protective of myself. Is this a boss? No, just an elite red dragon. Okay, this is all interesting. Armor is very tempting. Prevent the first three physical damage you take each turn. It's really good. But I want that... Oh, no, 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 no! I didn't want to take that health back. Well, it happened. I want this pierce. And then I will get that armor later, but later. So now I'm leveling up after this. I just wasted a cooldown for absolutely no damn reason. I don't want to fight this because I'd actually rather use this clone to restore my level ups. Or my, uh, my cooldowns. So I guess what we're doing is we're fighting this troll to level... Oh, it's level 4. Uh... Alright, here's what it is, guys. I got these two oases to heal to full. I don't actually need to worry about these health packs. So, that's what we're going to do. What the heck is this? Aston. Um, I forget what this does. But I gotta do it, because I might die on the dragon, and I don't want to miss the chance to invoke this. Oh, hey, you have an additional equipment slot, and all monsters begin with a sword. I'm annoyed that they all have a sword, but I have an extra equipment slot, so that's cool. I definitely want the sword. No, I definitely want the shield, and I want the sword the least, I think. It makes the least difference. Okay, cool. Let's actually smash here. Ah, that's perfect. So it's level 6, kind of difficult, but I can level up on it. Although I really would rather just level up on that dragon. Alright, I think I can handle the dragon. I think I can. Oh, no, 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 I don't have my cooldown, right? That's the problem. I have to get the cooldown back, so let's get it back against this level 6. Okay, yeah. Do, 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 do. Alright, they're, they're doing some damage to me with their swords. Alright, I'm getting some pretty good damage in here. I'm leveling up after this, so it doesn't really matter. In fact, if I know that I'm going to level up after a fight, I shouldn't have my pendant equipped. That doesn't make any sense. I should watch out for that and manage my equipment a little better. You can see, though, how cool it is. You know, even the warrior is not like a simple class. There's definitely a lot to keep track of. Okay, I can upgrade two cards, which is not that great. I'm just upgrading attacks. So I'm going to grab another pierce instead. And then that is what I'm going to upgrade here. I hate spending 5 gold, because if you then are 5 gold short, it feels so bad. But I'm going to do it. Yep. Because I think I need to fight the monster now. The boss, I mean. Because this is 4, 8, 15 experience. I'm up to 17 out of 30. I haven't bought enough experience to be able to, you know, do anything. So, yeah, I need to just fight the villain now, because I'm not going to uh, get any better. Well, I could, actually. If I killed something and didn't take very much damage... Then I could get gold, and maybe with that gold, I could, for example, get this armor. Ah, that's what I need to do. Yes. Because I can heal twice with these oases. It's a waste not to use them. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fight this dragon, and I'm going to use my cooldown on it. I'm going to do this and copy the Colossus Smash. And then I'm going to get it back, get, get my cooldowns back by fighting that sword. Or that, that clone. Okay, so sword first. Um, it's kind of annoying that he had that resistance there. Oh my god, am I going to die? It's going to be close. I mean, i got to just throw everything i got at this guy. Alright, I think I need to survive for one more turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm killing him next turn as long as I don't die. Oh god, oh god, oh no! Discard three! No! <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay, hang on. So this is 10 damage. I have to use this cooldown to survive. I'm obviously going to die after this. So I had to do it to kill this dragon. And the health is not that big of a deal because I can just heal here. Um, but what is a big deal... Oh, there's a treasure here? Force of Will. Deal one piercing damage to your opponent for each card, and I don't have enough mana to cast that, and I'm not going to bother, so let's discard it. Um, oh, I clicked the wrong thing! I was going to click this one! Oh, God. So I, ha I used up my cooldown, unfortunately, but actually, if I kill both of the remaining monsters, I can get that back. All right, all right, let's do it. Let's uh, let's fight the, uh, the troll first, the hard one first. See how this goes. 
Oh wow, this guy does not have very many hit points. 18. Wow, fighting an elite dragon is, versus fighting a regular thing is really quite the big difference. Um, and then this clone. Hold on, I'm being lazy. 51 gold, I can definitely buy something. So I'm buying the armor, and I'm going to manage my equipment slots here. So what I want, I want the armor. I think it's better than the shield. And the troll blood charm... I don't think I need it. I think I just want to equip my sword and, and deal all the damage to this clone that I can so that I can kill it as fast as possible. Okay. So it's dead next turn. Yeah, there it is. I'm at full health. Didn't even need that other oasis. There was nothing there anyway. Let me smash this volcano, see if there's anything in there. Nope. Okay, and now we're going to fight the Magmadon. And do I want to unequip one of these things so I can get a second copy of it? I could, for example, unequip this, and then I have two of them after I draw the first one. Or I could unequip this. Now, that I think I want to have as much as possible. Um, I could unequip the sword and get two swords, maybe? It's not that great. Let's uh, equip the shield. Let's do it like that. Okay, so here we go. I got the sword right away, which is nice. What is this? Oh, that's tough. I'm taking a bunch of damage. Well, uh, let, me, let me think about this. What is it that I want to copy? I think I want to copy my pierce. Because I'm not copying my equipment. And then, do I want to draw a card? Yeah, sure, let's draw some cards. Whatever. Didn't really need the troll blood charm. Alright, well, I dealt about as much damage to myself as... Well, it's no, I, I dealt more to him than to myself. The thing is that I ended up at about the same health level. But I dealt more to him than to myself. Okay, we got some good stuff here. Pierce is good. Colossus Smash is good. Corrosive Slash is good. Alright, 12. I might be able to kill him next turn. Yep, he's dead next turn as long as he doesn't kill me this turn. Okay, we did it. We did it. Boom. Oh, man. And then do I level up? Yes. Another equipment slot or this thing. Your opponent... Ooh, weaken two. Takes two additional damage from each physical source. Oh, that's kind of good. All right, I'm going to take it. Okay, so we made it to the next floor, which is happy news. Is there anything I want to buy up here? So the troll hide. That's tempting. But I've already got the pendant. I've already got the armor. And what I really want is more of these, because that goes well with my Sundering. So I'm actually going to buy that. It's a really cheap card at this for this stage of the game. Don't really want a Storm Slash, I don't think. I could still get this Berserker Strike for 10 damage. No, I don't want to damage myself. Although, hang on a second. Hold on. For about the first three damage, you would take each turn. Each turn. So it should, it should work on your turns, too. That means this only deals one damage to me. All right, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. And I have seven gold left. Not enough to blacksmith. Um, but we're ready to move down. All right. Let's get down on in there. Okay. So I'm pretty happy to make it to the third floor with the warrior. I'm not sure if this deck is good enough to survive this floor. It's always so tempting to take this. But I, even though it combos well like with the sword and stuff, I don't think it's the right play. Um, I could just get rid of three attack ones, which is really tempting. And draw more of my better cards. I'm going to do that. I feel like I always think about taking Immortal, and then I never do, and then I always regret that I didn't. But I really think that that's it. I mean, the other option is copying my Sundering Strike. This is really good. Having an extra one in the deck is good, but I have all these attack ones. Yeah, let's cop. <coughs> let's get rid of the attack ones. Beep, beep, beep. And then hopefully I can pick up some other good cards, even if they aren't Sundering Strike. Another Altar. Altar to Liara. That's another new one. Uh, I don't know what that does. I know that none of them are that great. Level 8 Treant. Okay. Uh, level 9 Earth Elemental. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Level 7 Brownie is probably one of the easier things I can have here, even though it dodges half my cards. Okay. Vampire Sword. For each 3 damage you deal, you gain a health. That could be good. 80 gold is a lot, but that could be decent. An Oasis is a nice pickup. And another level 7 Brownie. Okay, so what do I want to do here? I think I want to just find the boss... I don't know if I can level up to 10. That's ambitious. I do need to have this Troll Blood Charm equipped. And then the Dancing Scimitar I don't actually need. I'm going to put up my defensive gear, the armor and the shield. Let myself draw the Scimitar and the sword as they come. But I want this Troll Blood Charm because I want to make sure that I always heal up after a fight. Okay, let's try this Brownie. There's two of them. So let's see how it goes. 
Okay, we can get a sword. It's nice. And then roll the dice. Nope. Nope. And yep. Okay. 40 health is really not that much. Um, so that's good at least. Got my scimitar. Nope. 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 Ah, the big one. Noped on me. Okay. I got lucky there and blocked a couple of her things, though. Ooh, that was some good-ass die rolling. Alright, let's click that play all button. Alright, it got through. Nice. Okay. 55, not bad. Not bad. Oh my god, the hag. I don't think this deck can beat a hag. I don't know. Once this stuff starts turning into curses, things get real bad real quick. I could do some shenanigans. I could copy the scimitar and grind her down, but she does also do damage to you. It's not like she, she just waits for your curses to fill up your whole deck. Okay. Um, ah. Oh, just, uh, ambushed. Okay. Mm, boy. Uh, I think I'm going to use one of my cooldowns on this because I didn't really need it against the brownie, and that's the thing I'm going to fight next. So we're going to Sundering Strike and get a second copy of it. So now he's weakened to, which means each physical damage thing deals an extra two damage. And then I'm going to do this. So now each one deals four damage. And then I also draw a card here. And I'm actually going to... Oh, don't have my other cooldown. Never mind. So this is a pretty good turn. It would have been nice if I had had my sword equipped, I guess. Okay, that's a bunch of crap. He's got five physical damage from each source of physical damage. Well, good thing I'm only doing pierce, pierce, acid, which he's immune to anyway. And just only one attack. Could have been a lot worse. Okay, I've got a lot of poison going on here. A whole lot of poison. There's the sword. Let's draw a card. Let's draw another card. Sundering Strike. This is why you don't want to play all, by the way. If I had played all, these would have gotten played last after these two. I would have drawn the Sundering Strike after I played these cards. And, you know, that could have made a difference. I, yeah, I'm going to block three damage. So I'm going to go from 34 to 33, yes? Or 34 to... Nope, I guess I didn't. Well, that was actually surprising. I'm pretty much at full health after that fight. Don't be a mimic. Penetrating palm. Mm, that's good. I'm going to take it. Even though it's a non-bow with my Colossus Smash, at the end of the day, the Colossus Smash is just one card in my deck, and that's really good. Oh my god, another ambush to Bebus! Okay, so first card is nothing, so I'm going to waste the attack three. Put out the sword, Sundering Strike, which is a little bit underwhelming at this moment, but it does work with the sword, so that makes the sword deal three damage instead of just the one. Oh god, that's a hell of a combo. Oh god, oh god, oh Jesus, oh Christ, oh my god, that was half my health. Well, um, hmm, god, I need an impressive turn here. Let's draw a card. Nope, I forgot about that, but that's fine. It's still what I wanted to waste, I think. Yeah, and then I just play these out. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on here. Do I think I can survive another turn, or do I need to draw three cards? Am I going to be able to f kill two more monsters without this? Well, the brownie is one, and I need to kill one more monster without drawing three cards. I think I'm going to have to try it, because I don't know if I can survive another turn versus this thief. So we're going to put this out, which doesn't do anything. Penetrating palm doesn't actually do anything, because <laughs> it's the end of the turn, but whatever. All right, so it didn't actually even kill the thief. But I should be able to kill him next turn. I probably could have killed him next turn anyways. And I'm dead. Okay, well, that's a good warrior run. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe. And I'll see you again soon uh, for the after party now. We've got the 10 deaths, which means that we have the flea talent, one of the strongest, if not the strongest, talent at level 1. So we'll check that out next time. I'll see you guys soon.